The vastness of our universe and the space surrounding us leaves scientists with countless questions. They are constantly attempting to delve further into the unknown expanse that stretches endlessly past our atmosphere and discover what lies beyond the realm of our understanding. Since the Large Hadron Collider first started up on September 10, 2008, it's been at the center of many incredible discoveries, with those around the world questioning the true nature of this giant machine. Just recently, someone was live-streaming above the Large Hadron Collider when they noticed something strange. They described the object in question as being a set of stationary lights, saying that they didn't move, were hovering above the Large Hadron Collider complex, and that every so often each of the lights would turn on and off, but said that not at any point did they descend in elevation, and describing the object as being in the shape of a triangle or a boomerang. As the live stream continued, it started to gain traction, as thousands of people flooded in to see what this thing was, while at the same time putting forward their own theories in order to explain it. The individual was there for over an hour, recording the whole thing. Oddly enough, those who live close to the region have long said that strange lights and weather phenomena have been recorded above the complex, and that these strange lights don't match things like planes and helicopters. One person said the following about the strange lights. This is a little ominous, isn't it? There's a huge triangular-shaped object hovering above the Large Hadron Collider while lightning is surrounding it. It's like a scene from a movie. End quote. One of the strangest things about this event was how the object just stayed in the same position for all of the live stream, with some of the viewers asking how it could have done this. The strange object was made up of four lights that would occasionally turn on and off. At this moment in time, the size of this craft is not known, but some have guessed that it's anywhere from 40 feet to hundreds of feet in length. Another user has said that residents keep reporting strange openings in the sky, describing them as looking like portals, and oddly enough, in some instances, witnesses have reported seeing strange objects flying out of these openings, only to fly off at incredible speeds. During the last few years, there's been a wide range of reports featuring sightings of glowing objects that don't appear to match anything in the area. Some described these objects as looking like glowing orbs, while others called them green fireballs, and said that they demonstrated a form of intelligence in their evasive maneuvering and flight patterns. One of the first known reports surrounding these strange aircrafts was made back in 2010. According to the report, a civilian airplane, alongside a nearby military airplane, both reported what they described as a bright green fireball passing nearby as they were flying over the area. The two pilots were quoted as describing the fireballs as a huge green meteor and a green ball of fire with no physical dimensions or outlines. Residents backed up these claims and noted that a strange objects could be seen travelling across the sky, but after investigations were carried out, the first report was dismissed, saying that the most likely explanation for this sighting was that of a meteor burning up in the lower atmosphere, with a possible chemical composition of copper chloride, a compound commonly known for burning a bright green under natural conditions. Oddly enough, only a few days after this first sighting, locals in the area would go on to report that portals started opening up in the sky and that strange objects could be seen flying out of them. Although this sounds like a completely fabricated story, a very similar report has been made at the Skinwalker Ranch, which can be found in the United States. One user detailed the following encounter. In 2010, a group of us saw a bright light in the sky that appeared to be an opening of sorts. At first, we thought that it may have been a new kind of technology that was testing out company logos in the sky. But as we were watching this strange spiral in the sky, an object then flew out of it. After around 10 seconds, the strange spiral closed and the object that flew out of it was nowhere to be seen. We all just stood there questioning what we had just witnessed. End quote. Pilots in the area have described the aircrafts they've witnessed as displaying intelligent and erratic movements and appeared to contain no physical outlines of any kind. Realizing that something far more unnatural was occurring, this second sighting would cause more people in the area to take notice of these strange aircrafts. Oddly enough, only 12 days following the prior incident, an astronomer working at the University of New Mexico claimed to have spotted several of these objects that had been reported. When observing the unexplainable lights, the astronomer studied their paths and emissions and gathered a significant amount of information before writing to the United States Air Force. The astronomer's letter detailed these objects, 
and they said to the United States military that the lights were not typical of meteor behavior and must be a form of intelligent aerial craft. As of right now, these sightings have been dismissed as being planes, meteorites or space debris burning up in the atmosphere. Although these bizarre sightings have been massively downplayed by military officials, those living in the region have said they don't buy this explanation and said that something strange is happening above this area. The European Council for Nuclear Research said the following on their website. The creation of black holes at the Large Hadron Collider is very unlikely. However, some theories suggest that the formation of tiny quantum black holes may be possible. The observation of such an event would be thrilling in terms of our understanding of the universe. The creation of a quantum black hole at the Large Hadron Collider would be very surprising, but very exciting indeed. It would allow physicists to learn about nature's most elusive force, gravity. The creation of a black hole at the Large Hadron Collider would confirm theories that our universe is not four-dimensional, but indeed hosts other dimensions. It would be quite a spectacular philosophical outcome. In the same way that the theory of relativity or of quantum mechanics revolutionized our way of thinking, discovering the existence of extra dimensions would be a major new milestone in our understanding of the universe. There is no obvious application for knowing this. Many people will start speculating about using these extra dimensions for space and time travel or as a source of clean energy and who knows what else. End quote. Interestingly, these triangular-shaped aircrafts haven't just been seen above the Large Hadron Collider. For years now, they've been reported in pretty much every country around the world. What they are, though, is still heavily debated. Some argue that these crafts are part of the latest stealth fleet of either the United States or United Kingdom's military, while some users have questioned how we would have such a thing. Another thing that's been picked up on by amateur researchers is how these aircrafts are never usually seen during the daytime. Although there have been a few photographs taken during the day, it still hasn't helped us to come to a definitive answer for what these things are, along with how they are able to achieve some of the things that they do. There have been around 4,000 reports of these triangles since 1990 in the United Kingdom alone. There have also been waves of triangle sightings in Belgium, France, Holland and Germany. According to databases that keep track of mysterious aircrafts, the Black Triangle is one of the most commonly sighted crafts that gets reported by eyewitnesses, and most of the people who have seen these crafts describe the same thing, a dark black triangle hovering silently in the sky. Mr. McGrillan, a media journalist, has said that United States officials have in their possession a clear photograph of one of these black triangles rising out of the ocean, saying that insiders are aware of this photograph, as they have gone on record about it saying that the craft was captured back in 2019 by a pilot. Mr. McGrillan said the following, It could be a key piece of evidence, demonstrating that we are truly in the presence of some other intelligence. End quote. At the time, the pilot was flying in a Super Hornet. The photograph in question was captured by equipment on board the Super Hornet, which is one of the reasons why it hasn't been released to the public, with insiders noting that the photograph is still locked up with United States officials who don't talk about it, and who've said likely won't be releasing it any time in the near future. Those who've seen the photograph have said that it was captured by the pilot off the east coast of the United States, and describe it as looking like a giant black triangle, with blunted edges and having spherical white lights on each of the corners. Tom Rogan, the national security writer for the Washington Examiner, has come forward and said that the photograph does exist after being told about it from insiders. He said the following, it's the tip of the iceberg, but we will see more leaks of mysterious flying aircraft imagery and data in the coming years. United States officials should get ahead of the curve and officially release more material. End quote. It's for this reason that some have said that these mysterious black triangles don't belong to us, noting that if they aren't willing to even share a photograph or talk about it, then it's likely that these things are coming from an outside source. Some online users have said that it's strange because in the last few years, we've basically been told that many of these crafts are actually seen out in the oceans, and this has caused some to put forward their own theories for why this is. For years now, people have said they've seen strange objects flying in and out of the oceans, with many dismissing these claims as nothing more than made-up stories, but with insiders now admitting that many of these crafts have been seen in our oceans by United States officials and the military, it's only caused more questions to be put forward.
including who do they belong to? Why are they more commonly seen out in the oceans? What's out there that's causing them to fly miles out to sea? Why aren't these photographs being released? And ultimately, where are they coming from? So, what do you make of this strange aircraft seen above the Large Hadron Collider? And what do you make of these black triangles? Is there something going on right now that we're not aware of? Or are United States officials being open to the idea of sharing this information with the public? Lately, the general public has noticed that officials have been more open about these sightings, sharing details with us about what these aircrafts look like and how they're able to outmaneuver their jets. Although some have said this is a step in the right direction, others have said that we still have a long way to go. Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.